Hello everyone, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Jetline Marvel. In this video, we compare the T-129 helicopter made in Turkey to the Tiger fighter helicopter built by Europe. The Eurocopter Tiger is a twin-engine assault helicopter with four blades that originally entered service in 2003. Airbus Helicopters manufactures it, formerly Eurocopter. It made its first flight in April 1991 and was placed into service in 2003. It is currently in use by the German, Australian, French, and Spanish armies. As of 2019, Airbus has produced over 180 aircraft. The T-129 ATAK is a multi-role, all-weather assault helicopter with two engines and tandem seats based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta chassis. Turkish Aerospace Industries collaborated with Augusta Westland to create the T-129. The helicopter is developed for sophisticated assault and reconnaissance missions in both day and night settings in hot and high regions with rugged terrain. Let's talk about the specifications for both the helicopter. The T-129 and Tiger both have two crew members. T-129 is 47 feet 8 inches long, while the Tiger is 46.2 feet long. T-129 has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,056 kilograms, while the Tiger has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kilograms. LHTEC turboshaft engines power the T-129, while MTR-390 turboshaft engines power the Tiger. The T-129 engine generates 1,014 kilowatts of power, whereas the Tiger generates 972 kilowatts. The T-129 has a top speed of roughly 281 kilometers per hour, whereas the Tiger has a top speed of 290 kilometers per hour. The T-129 has a range of 537 kilometers, and the Tiger has a range of 800 kilometers. The T-129 and Tiger has a same flight endurance of up to 3 hours. T-129 can fly up to 15,000 feet in the air, but Tiger can fly up to 13,000 feet. T-129 climbs at a rate of 13.26 meters per second, whereas the Tiger climbs at 10.7 meters per second. T-129 has survival and safety to the maximum. State-of-the-art integrated aircraft survivability equipment, such as an advanced electronic warfare processor, radar warning receiver, laser warning system, missile warning system, and advanced self-protection using enhanced chaff and flare countermeasures dispensing system, radar and IR jamming capability, maximizes battlefield survivability. The Tiger hat is extremely maneuverable, thanks to a 13-meter, four-bladed main rotor with no hinges. It's also powerful, due to two MTR-390 turboshaft engines that have been upgraded. The roof-mounted site is equipped with a TV camera, thermal imager, laser rangefinder, laser designator, and a laser spot tracker that can track up to four objects at once. The Tiger head also includes combat external fuel tanks for longer mission flight periods, an enlarged flight domain for firing spike and hellfire anti-tank missiles, and digital communications for the new digitized warfare. Let's talk about the weapons that each helicopter carries. The T-129 is equipped with a single M197 three-barrel rotary gun. It contains four hard points that can be used to carry a variety of weapons. It can carry up to four unguided rocket pods, such as the MKE, Fear, Hydra 70, and CRV 7. 
anti-tank guided missiles such as the UMTAS and LUMTAS. 16 guided missiles were deployed against targets that were lightly armored or unarmored. Short-range air-to-air missiles and eight air-to-air stringers, other drop tanks weighing up to 294 kilograms. Let's have a look at the specifications for the Tiger helicopter. It has a chin turret with a 30mm GIAT gun that can hold up to 450 rounds. Inner hard points, 20mm auto gun pods, and a 68mm SNEB unguided bomb pod can all be carried by the Tiger. Hydra 70mm unguided bomb for Hellfire missiles, for Spike missiles, for PARS missiles, and for HOT-3 rockets. It can carry two Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, two air-to-air -air stingers, 68mm SNEB unguided rockets, and 70mm Hydra 70 unguided rockets on its outer hard points. The Hunter Casca Integrated Control System has been exclusively created for the T129 ATAK helicopter. With its excellent tracking accuracy, the system enables the automatic alignment of target detection and weapon systems to the pilot's line of sight. Asselfleur 300T, a specialized electro-optical FLIR system, is also installed on the helicopter. The Tiger had blocked two helicopters are also navalized, meaning they can operate from ships and in maritime conditions. Both the forward-seated pilot and the aft-seated gunner can command the armament systems and primary flight controls, exchanging positions if necessary, thanks to the tandem seat glass cockpit configuration. Sensor data and information on internal systems are displayed on each crew member's pair of multifunction LCD screens, which are also used to interact with the aircraft's systems. The T-129 attack helicopter first flew in 2009 and was introduced in 2014. Turkey has produced 78 helicopters as of 2021. It is mostly utilized by the Turkish Army and the Philippine Air Force. The Tiger helicopter flew for the first time in April 1991 and it was introduced in 2003. Airbus has so far produced 180 helicopters. The single helicopter will cost roughly 65 million US dollars, according to the latest estimates. In the comments box, let us know what you think about both assault helicopters. Please tell us about your favorite. Thank you.